Lithium polymer battery, light pole for short. Known for packing a punch. And by a punch, I mean punch. And I promise you, I'm not crazy, but in this video, we're gonna take a light pole battery, and we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna put it back together. Because for the first time ever, we had to swap out our EC5 for a QS8 connector. Let's go. recap we had the corvette out it was 190 degrees 180 degrees way too hot so we swapped out this max 5 from hobby wing with this xlx2 from cat we swapped out these small connectors with this giant connector we had to swap out the connector on the battery to this connector on this battery first we got to pick a battery though 9000 versus 6200 100 C burst versus 90 C burst. Awesome. 1071 for the Z, 882 for the CNHL. Second question we have to ask is does it fit? This fits pretty good. Actually, it's more slop there. That seems like it's meant to be. A QSA female to go, some electrical tape, some cutters and strippers, some flux scissors and of course we have a 6s battery that we're going to sit right there i'm gonna get itself some flux and ten both sides here so we're going to cover down on one side so that we can make sure we don't cross contaminate. We don't want these two sides to touch. Ever, 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 ever. Using a wet rag opposite of how we use the heat gun when we painting, we use the wet rag to cool this thing down. Uh, we don't want it to get super hot where it melts off. So when I'm not running the soldering iron, I like to cool it down a little bit good 10 going there so now we're ready on this side now we got to get this side ready a little flux on it and then 10 it Ten job complete there we can slide on the protector or the cover or whatever that's called and then we're just gonna put this negative onto this negative side, just like that. Cool this bad boy down a little bit. Oh, boys and girls, that's legit. Let's tape up this side. So we don't have to worry about contacting it. We'll tape up that side. All right? We'll expose. We'll expose the positive side. So we're gonna hide the negative with some tape. And now we have to tin this side. We'll tin it. And then we'll cut it and attach it. Let's go. What tinning is allowing us to do is put some material down so that when we get to the putting the wire in here, 
it'll have something to grab onto. It'll be like priming it, right? So if you prime it beforehand, you'll have something to, to stick to. Pen job there, you smeared it up. Smeared it up when it's hot. It's like it's like baking a cake, man. It's like it's like um it's like um putting like putting icing on the cake. That's what it's like. So we're putting the same spot. Sometimes we just gotta do it ourselves. Boom. Pull that off. That was a little nerve wracking, not gonna lie. This little uh, flux does, is allows us to get super hot so we can melt faster. Get hotter so you can melt faster. You get this thing nice and hot, it'll just soak it up. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Woo! I'm gonna mess around and get good at this, man. Look at this. It's just sucking it up. It's time to cool this bad boy down. Let's get it all cooled off. Clean this off. Keep your equipment clean. Gotta keep your equipment clean. And I think we're done with that we're done with that cool this off this is a a job i can say that i'm proud of put this away this little guy did a good job man this is a ec5 ic5 uh on the armor stuff because it has the extra smart wire in there but the ic5 and the ec5 is interchangeable so same same the thing we have to do here is take out this last bit of tape all right we cut that off oh, we got slide this super on. satisfying gotta get this bad boy to clip in qsa upgrade complete and we didn't burn our house down Yeah, man, it should be good.